Go Sit. over by mom. Hurry by me. Lincoln, go over by Lincoln. mom. How to stay on the right day. Huh. Today is day two in Seward, and what are we doing today, guys? Go on a boat! We're going on a cruise. A, a cruise. wildlife cruise with major marine tours. Yeah. We'll take you along. Yeah. Bye. Are we getting on the boat? That's a huge boat. Are you excited for the boat? Yeah, that's a huge boat, Mom. It's pretty big, huh? What do you guys think of your seat? No. Okay. That's okay to her? Say hi. Hi. We found our spot on the boat. Yeah. We could go walk on the deck once we're underway. We'll check in once we're cruising along. Say bye. Bye. Mary, if you think that'll do the trick. Here we go. If you are feeling too sick at all, please do not suffer in silence. Let me or one of the crew members know we do have a couple tricks up our sleeves that might help. Like Captain Marcel said, definitely getting some air and going outside on the second level of the stern or the back of the boat will be the most stable part. And if worse comes to worse, grab onto that rail and shoot for distance. Happens all the time. <laughs> Definitely avoid those bathrooms as they will make you feel a lot worse. Speaking of those bathrooms, they are a lot more sensitive than your bathrooms at home. So please only flush what has once passed through your body and a little bit of that toilet paper for Goodbye. Goodbye. Look. Look at him. Look at
position part or left side of the boat for now. Uh, we'll actually spin the vessel here uh, since this is one of the main things we want to see uh, after a little bit so we can get views on both sides. Uh, but these are the endangered species right here. The stellar sea lion. Just lazily taking a nap in the sunshine. Do you like to see lions? Yeah. Aren't they so cute? Yeah, and I love the man. Wait. Goodbye. chance to do an end scene for our video. So, Bria, what was your favorite part of the boat tour? Sea lions because they're cute. My favorite part was the puffins and the beautiful oh. scenery. I do have a few tips if you're doing a boat cruise like this. Number one, bring snacks. Um, they do sell snacks and drinks on the boat, but if you want to save a few bucks, bring your own snacks. That was definitely helpful for us. Also, I wouldn't do more than a four hour long boat cruise with little kids. I think four hours was the max that our kids could handle. They were starting to get a little tired and restless by the end of it. I still wouldn't let that deter you from bringing kids on a cruise like this. We absolutely loved it. It was totally worth it. I just wouldn't recommend doing anything longer than about four hours with kids. And third, I will leave the info for Harbor 360 Cruises down below. Totally recommend them. Wonderful company. We had the best experience. Weather-wise, we lucked out that we had a beautiful sunny day when we were there. They do sail, rain or shine. I think they only cancel cruises if the seas are too rough. So keep that in mind. Alaska does get a lot of rain and stuff like that in the summertime, but also has amazing, beautiful days, which we got to experience. So that's a wrap of our boat cruise and the end of our three-part series of our weekend in Seward, which was amazing. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.